pay close attention in the timer because sometimes it only takes like a few seconds of footage instead of capturing the entire video. Okay, anyway, it's time. It's that time. It's that time of month where we do another forever video, and today's forever is about the Mizuno Gumball from Cartoon Network. Let's get started. The Mizuno Gumball was once the greatest show in Cartoon Network history. That was until it ended. But hey, at least we got Cray the Creek. And the irony is that like. The next video is going to be about Cray of the Creek. So mark your calendars for next Monday. Yeah. Uh, the Amazing of is basically that uh, TV show where like the main character goes on adventures in his or her everyday life. But a hundred times better. The Amazing of Gumball followed the adventures of Gumball and his brother Darwin as they cause antics around the fictional city of Elmore. Occasionally his family, the Watersons, were also accompany them on their adventures. Their family includes their sister Anais, their mother Nicole, and their father Richard. The show then went on to create six seasons, so now I'll go over the seasons in order, starting with the first season. Okay, so the first season had Gumball's early adventures that were comprised of episodes where Gumball would have adventures at his school or his home. Uh, yeah, uh, same formula applies to like the other seasons. This season was more of the weaker seasons, as it did have a lot, because it did have, like, a really, really a bad art style compared to the other seasons, but it did have some good episodes, because all the seasons had good episodes, uh, ex except for one, <coughs> season six. <laughs> yeah, like, the episode where Gumball and Darren tried to get a refund for a game they bought that wasn't compatible with their console, and the episode where Gumball and Darren try to hide from their neighbor, Mr. Robinson, after they wreck his car after doing work for him. This was also the only season to have an extremely different art style than the other seasons, with Gumball having oval-shaped eyes and a lighter color palette. What I mean by that is that, like, instead of, like, a natural shade of blue for Gumball's skin, it was more of, like, a lighter cyan color. But still blue. Next is season two, my personal favorite. And also follow the same uh, adventure formula, or anything, or something like. And also, I like the same adventure pattern as the other seasons. But this season had, how should I put this? Very good, amazing episodes. Like nearly all the episodes, just mm, spectacular. Like the episode where the Watsons battle for a new TV remote, only to be tricked by Anais. There was also an episode. Where the Watsons accidentally run over the actual Santa Claus and give him amnesia and try to restore his memories with some antics with Richard, thinking, thinking that he's on Santa Claus while while he runs around doing good deeds for everyone, even though he's only making them worse. Uh, I also can't forget the episode where Gumball teaches Darwin how to tell people off for like being annoying, which is one of my favorite episodes. When you think about it with a plot like that, it's actually kind of reasonable to, for you to like forget an episode like that. Whatever, I still enjoy it anyway. The season also had a different art style, but it was very similar to the third season in the Onwards, where Gumball's pupils were wider, and the art style was less lighter, more of a normal version of the colors. Like, instead of, like, a cyan blue, it's more of, like, regular blue or whatever. Okay, uh, season three. Season three, season three had some very good episodes, too. Like the episode where Gumball realizes that his real name isn't Gumball and goes under a new persona that corrupts his personality. There was also an episode where Gumball and Darren do the everyday antics of a procrastinator like me while they procrastinate to take out the trash. It's one of the most amazing episodes ever and I just love it so much. It's like they, it's like they it's like they don't want to take out the trash and then they realize that they're just wasting time by not taking out the trash. But then they just go back to procrastinating. It's awesome. Definitely go watch it if you can. It's it's an awesome it's a really awesome episode. This season was also the home to the 100th episode of the show, where Gumball's grandmother comes over to his house with her new boyfriend. I don't know why I did quotation marks, because obviously that's a problem. And Gumball's dad tries to break the two up, with, like, previous mention to, like, Richard's, like, uh, with Richard's, like, previous father. This was also the beginning of the final art style change of the series, where the characters, peoples, are now just basic small circles. Like, like, nearly... Oh, I don't know. Every, uh, TV show? Cartoon show? Okay, uh, next is season four. And season four had good episodes. Like, the episode where, uh, 
the Watersons trying numerous attempts at securing a space in the mall parking lot. Or the episode two parter, where we learn about how Darwin got into the Watterson family, because he's a he used to be a pet fish, but now he's like a walking fish. Kind of like a mud skipper, but orange. And he's kind of magic. Okay, I said too much. Uh, also in this season, also this season had some really funny and good episodes. But compared to season two, seasons two and three, its episodes just aren't really as great as them. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that the seasons are bad. It's just its episodes aren't just as strong as season two and three. Okay, season five, season five, season five, season five. Season 5 had some good episodes at the beginning of the season, like the episode where Anais makes a new friend and Gummo and Darn think that he's hiding something. Actually, I'm quotation marks. Hiding something. There we go. Uh, or the episode where Gummo and Darn find a USB stick fire where it reveals their friend Alan is planning to take over the world. And it wasn't until the 11th episode, you know, the episode where Gummo and Darn meet their Chinese rip off counterpart and get new voice actors, that everything starts to go downhill. Don't get me wrong, I liked some of the episodes. Where, like the episode where uh Gummo and Dar when Gummo teaches Darwin how to skateboard, or the episode where Bitcher tries to discover a sacred burger in his favorite fast food chain, Joyful Burger. But the new voices for Gummo and Darwin didn't really make it feel like we were watching, we were actually watching Gummo and Darwin. The only good credit I can give to the new voice actors is that the Gumbo, the new Gumbo voice actor, actually has a YouTube channel called Junkie Janker. Definitely go check it out. His videos are amazing. Uh, his channel link will be in the description. Okay. Lastly is season 6, which is my least favorite of the seasons. For three reasons. One, the first episode, The Rival, is is one of my least favorite episodes in the entire series. Because it shows Annie as being like a little evil genius instead of being like the lovable person that she is on the out in the other episodes. Why would they do that? Two, most of the episodes are bland and not really interesting in my opinion, even though there were still some good episodes. And three, the final episode of the season was also the finale of the entire series, and it wasn't a good one. This is, that was mostly because it ended on a literal cliffhanger, and we are still waiting for an actual conclusion that doesn't leave us on a cliffhanger. Like a movie. The Miserable Gumball is still continuing in two clip show series, series, series called Darwin's Yearbook and the Gumball Chronicles. And they're both really bad. Re really bad. Like, ugh. I want to bleach my eyes out, but I don't because I have to keep making videos. I mean. I mean, doesn't mean. I mean, it doesn't mean that's not really bad, but instead of, like, giving us a brand new episode for us to watch, they, says, they instead said. No! and gave us a non-official clip show episode with scenes and clips from episodes that we've already seen before. Now, it doesn't really mean that Gumball is dead, officially dead, as, like, there is no such thing as, like, an actual dead Cartoon Network show. But we are still waiting for a Gumball movie. But a long wait we are waiting for until there is an actual Gumball movie really makes it seem that Gumball is, in fact, actually dead. I mean, we were Bears Gun movie, I don't see why Gumball can't. That's not completely dead, as I still remember in the part of my brain where I keep my, my memory of favorite kids slash TV shows. Right here, on this side. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and also be sure to follow my post on straw poll, and it will be in the description. And also check out Junkie Jinker's channel, it will, his channel will be in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.